Hi mga kawawmat! In this video, we will solve problems involving systems of linear equations in two variables. So our objective, we will solve problems involving systems of linear equations in two variables. Ayun. Okay, so let's have example number one. The sum of two numbers is 10, and their difference is 46. What are the numbers? So, first step, you have to understand the problem. So, highlights nyo po yung mga importanteng data or given na uh, gagamitin ninyo sa pagsusolve nitong problem na to. So, ang gagawin po natin, highlights muna natin. So, understanding the problem, ano ba ang given? So, we have the sum of two numbers is 10, and the difference is 46. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kapag pinag-add daw natin yung dalawang numbers mo, the sum is 10, at pag pinag-subtract naman natin sila, their difference is 46. So, let us represent the given uh, problem. So, therefore, your x will be your larger number. And then, your y is the smaller number. Okay? So, your x is your larger number and your y is the smaller number. So, let us plan. So, let, plan out tayo and then uh, re let us represent the given equation. So, your equation 1 will be since the sum of two numbers is 10. So, therefore, x plus y is equal to 10. And their difference is 46. Therefore, that is x minus y is equal to 46. Okay? So, this will be our system. Now, what do you think is um, the... Um, method that is more convenient to use. So, given the system, ano dyan yung mas madaling method na pwede natin gamitin? Okay. Obviously, it's elimination method. Why? Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, nakikita na kagad yung additive inverse. Okay? So, we will be using the elimination method. So, let us carry out the plan. So, I have x plus y is equal to 10 and x minus y is equal to 46. So, what you're going to do is to cancel. Makakancel na po ating itong y terms. So, we now have 2x is equal to 56. Divide both sides by 2. This will be canceled. So, your x is equal to 28. Okay. Now, after getting the value of 28 at x, the value of x, then you can get any equation, kahit ano po dito, basta galing sa original equation. So, let us use x plus y is equal to 10. Kahit ano po dyan. And then, substitute mo yung nakuha mong first value ng variable. So, since ang nakuha natin una ay x, so dito natin siya ilalagay sa x. So, we will substitute 28 dito sa x. So, we now have 28 plus y that is equal to 10. So, y is equal to 10 minus 28. So, mapupunta siya dito. Therefore, our y is equal to negative 18. Okay. Now, first step is you have to understand the problem. Step 2 is you have to plan out. And then, step 3, carry out the plan. After you got your uh, x and y values, step 4, you have to check the result. Okay, so the solution is 28, negative 18, or x is equal to 28 and y is equal to negative 18. So, ito po yung nakuha natin kanina dun sa previous slide. So, what you're going to do is you have to check. Okay, dapat i-check natin. So, kunin natin yung equation 1 natin, which is x plus y is equal to 10. And then, yung equation 2 natin, which is x minus y is equal to 46. So, substitute lang po natin yung mga values na nakuha natin to check. So, dapat ang mag-appear dito sa pinakahuli ay dapat mag-equal sila. Okay? So, our x is 28 and our y is negative 18. So, ilalagay lang natin siya. Okay? So, 28 plus negative 18. So, different signs ito. You have to subtract. And that is positive 10. So, as you can see, they are equal and this is checked. Okay, so therefore, it satisfies the given equation dun sa system natin, yung first equation. Next, proceed tayo sa equation 2. So, dapat kapag nag-check tayo, mag-satisfy siya sa parehong equation dun sa system. 
Okay? So, ganun ulit, substitute natin si 28 at si negative 18. So, take note ha, minus negative 18. Okay? Baka dito kayo magkamali sa pag-check. Uh, you might think na itong um, negative niya ay ito na, hindi po. So, 28 minus your y is negative 18. So, you have to enclose this um, using parenthesis. So, that will become 28 plus kasi negative times negative positive. So, 28 plus 18, that is equal to 46. So, as you can see, they are equal. So, this is check. Okay. So, since it satisfies both equations, therefore, the solution is 28 negative 18. So, therefore, the two numbers are 28 and negative 18. Let's have example 2. A carpenter wants to cut a 16 foot piece of wood into two pieces. The longer piece is to be one foot longer than twice the shorter piece. Find the length of each piece. Okay, so first step, understand the problem. Highlights natin yung mga important data. So we have 16 foot piece of wood into two pieces. And then the longer piece is to be one foot longer than twice the shorter piece. So dapat, ang unang-una mong gagawin dyan is you have to represent the um, unknown, yung longer at yung shorter piece mo. So, let us represent the x as the length of the shorter piece and then your y as the length of the longer piece. Okay. So, dapat yun muna ang una natin gagawin, no? Representation. Okay. Uh, intindihin ang problem so you can represent. Okay. Now, so, we now have the representation of the shorter and longer piece. Then, what will be the next um, step? So, we have um, the longer piece. So, magta-translate tayo. The longer piece daw. So, longer piece is equal to y. So, dapat kaya alam na muna natin yung representation para alam natin kung ano ilalagay. So, the longer piece is, um, ito yung longer piece mo. So, y is equal to is to be 1 foot longer. So, ibig sabihin, 1 foot longer, mas mataas, mas mahaba siya. Mas mahaba siya ng isang foot. Okay? Mas mahaba siya ng 1 foot. Then, twice, twice the shorter piece. Shorter piece is represented as x. So, ibig sabihin, twice x. Okay? So, the longer piece is equal to, is to be one foot longer than twice the shorter piece. Since ito yung representation natin ng shorter piece. Now, so let us represent the equation. We now have y is equal to twice is, is uh, meaning 2. Okay? So, 2x plus 1. Okay. So, let us plan out. So, your equation 1 will be so, balikan natin. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung equation 2 mo. Then, what will be your, what's supposed to be your um, equation 1? So, balikan natin yung problem. A carpenter wants to cut a 16-foot piece of wood into two pieces. So, ikakat niya yung 16-foot uh, yung, yung into two pieces. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung two pieces. So, yung two pieces na yun, that is equivalent to 16 feet. Okay. So, x plus y is equal to 16. Ito yung ating first equation. So, dapat uh, marunong tayo mag-analyze ng problem natin, no? Um, Ma'am, asan dyan yung unang equation? Eh, ito lang yung lumabas. So, hahanapin mo ngayon yung first equation mo since ang sabi, uh, ikakat niya yung 16-foot piece of wood into two pieces. Therefore, ito yung two pieces mo. Pag in yun, that is that must be equivalent to 16. Okay, so that will be your first equation. And then your second equation, so ito na nga yung nakubuha natin, that is y is equal to 2x plus 1. So this will be our system of linear equation from the given problem. Now, so as you can see, we already have here the equation of solving for x in terms, uh, solving for y in terms of x. So nakaayo siya, no? na nakasolve for y in terms of x. So, therefore, kapag ganito, meron kang nakitang ganitong ayos ng equation sa system mo, makikita mo kagad ano ang gagamitin mong uh, method. 
Okay, that is substitution method. Kasi, kita na kagad, di ba? Y is equal to, eto isa substitute mo sa Y. Kasi naka-equate siya sa um, Y. Okay? So, let us continue. So, this is your first equation, and then this is your second equation. So, let us solve. Gamit ang equation 1. So, we have x plus y is equal to 16. So, since ang value ng y natin dito, y is equal to 2x plus 1. So, ito ang isa substitute natin dito sa y. Ayan po. So, ilalagay natin si 2x plus 1 dun sa y. And then, so we now have x, so plus 2x plus 1. Okay, equals 16. So, we can now combine similar terms. So, x plus 2x. So, x plus 2, that is 3x plus 1 is equal to 16. Okay, so we now have 3x is equal to 16. Mapupunta to dito, so magiging minus 1. So, 16 minus 1, that is 15. So, for us to solve for x, divide both sides by 3. And then, this will be cancelled. And then, x is equal to 5 because 15 divided 3, that is 5. Okay? Next. So, let us solve for y. So, by using uh, the second equation. So, ito na gamitin natin. Kasi pag sinolve na, nag-substitute tayo ng x dito, makukuha na natin si y. Dahil y is equal to. Para daw makuha mo si y, i-times mo yung x mo sa 2 and then add 1. So, therefore, substitute natin si... Uh, 5, then sa x, so 2 times 5 plus 1, so 2 times 5, that is 10, plus 1, that is 11. Okay, so do not forget to check. So we have the solution is 5, 11, or x is equal to 5, y is equal to 11. So using the original equation, x plus y is equal to 16, and your equation 2, y is equal to 2x plus 1. So, we now have substitute lang po natin etong x at y mo. So, 5 dito, 11 dito. So, 5 plus 11, that is 16. So, as you can see, they are equal and this is check. Okay, let's proceed to the other equation. So, y is equal to 2x plus 1. Substitute natin si 11 dun sa y and then si 5 dun sa x. So, so let us solve. So, we now have 11 is equal to 2 times 5, that is 10 plus 1. So, 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. So, as you can see, they are also equal. So, therefore, um, the solution 5, 11 satisfies equation 1 and equation 2. So, the length of the shorter and longer piece should be 5 feet and 11 feet respectively. So, ibig sabihin, yung shorter piece is 5 feet and yung longer piece is 11 feet. So, i-check natin ha. Yung longer piece daw is 1 foot longer than twice the shorter piece. So, pag tinimes daw natin ito sa 2 times 2, 10, e eh, 1 foot longer, 11. So, ayun po siya. So, tama po. Okay, next. Let's proceed to the third example. Alex saved 20 coins consisting of 25 centavo and 1 peso coins. How many of each kind did he have if the coins amounted to 10, 25 pesos? Okay, so understand the problem. Highlights natin yung given. Meron siyang 20 coins na... Um, it consists of 25 centavo and 1 peso coin. Okay. So, ilan lahat ng coins niya? 20. Ano-ano yung mga coins niya? 25 centavo and 1 peso lang po. Okay. And the total amount is 10.25 pesos. So, let us represent first the 25 centavo and the 1 peso. So, let us represent the number, yung bilang ng 25 centavo coins as x, and then yung bilang ng 1 peso coins as y. Okay, since we are looking for how many, so tig ilan daw, ilang kayang 25 centavo at ilang kayang 1 peso, Para makabuo tayo ng 10.25. Kasi yun daw ang kabuuan eh, nung nasave ni Alex. So, ilang piraso ng 25 centavos and 1 peso coin ang meron si Alex na nagkakahalagang 10.25 pesos. So, dapat maintindihan muna natin yung problem. Okay? So, plan out. 
So, what will be your first equation? Okay, first equation. Actually, yung first equation o yung isang equation, minsan, um, hindi ikaw mag-aano niyan, mag-iisip, pag-iisipan mo yan. So, balikan mo yung problem, 20 coins. So, ito yung kabuuan. So, therefore, kung ito yung kabuuan, pag pinagsama daw yung bilang nito, yun ng bilang ng coin. So, therefore, your equation 1 is x plus y is equal to 20. Yung bilang ng 25 centavo at yung bilang ng 1 peso coin is equivalent to 20 coins lahat. So, this will be your first equation. Okay? And then, your second equation. So, your second equation is, ang sabi, um, 25 centavo and 1 peso coin. Nagto-total siya ng 1025. So, ang 25 centavo is equivalent to 0 0.25. Right? Okay, so 0 0.25 times kung ilang piraso yung 25 centavo mo. That's why it's 0 0.25x. Kasi ita times natin siya dito kung ilan yung bilang ng 25 centavo. And then plus ilan yung bilang ng 1 peso. Okay, so dapat magtotal siya ng 1025. Ito yung ating second equation. Okay, now, so this will be our system. Now, what do you think is the best or convenient method to be used? Okay, so meron ako ditong plus y plus y. So, um, mas madali siguro. Ewan ko ha, para sa akin. Pero it's up to you, nasa inyo yan kung anong gusto nyong gamitin. So, ako, I will be using elimination method. Kasi gagawin ko na lang negative tong isa. Okay? So, gagawin ko na lang negative yung isa. Pero ikaw, if you want to use substitution, pwede rin po. Ilipat mo to, you may solve for y, lipat mo itong neg magiging negative x. Or, you may solve for, for x, magiging negative y naman ito pag nilagay mo dito. So, pwede rin po substitution, it's up to you. So, ako, I will be using elimination. So, I will make it negative. Okay? So, kailangan magawa ko itong negative para makancel ko to. So, para maging negative ito, ita times ko siya by negative 1 both sides. So, uh, when we are multiplying a number doon sa ating equation, always multiply it doon sa ating terms. All of the terms. Okay? So, anong mangyayari? Negative 1 times x, that is negative x. And then, negative 1 times y, that is negative y. And then, ne 20 times negative 1, negative 20. So, this is now our equation 3. Okay? And then, just copy the second equation. So, ito na po siya. Okay, meron na tayong dalawang equation na pwede na tayong gumamit ng elimination method dahil meron na tayong additive inverse. Okay, so let us continue. Ito yung dalawang equation natin kanina. So, therefore, we can now cancel y. Okay, so ito medyo mahirap no kasi decimal. Pero, um, ikaw, kung nahihirapan kang mag-solve ng decimal, pwede mo to gawing whole number muna. Okay? Pag nagginawa natin tong whole number, move mo lang to 1, 2. So, magiging 25. Ganon din to. So, kapag nag-move po tayo, imumove po natin lahat. So, 1, 2, magiging 25. Ito, may 1 ka dito. So, maging 1, 2, maging 100. And then, ito, 1, 2, magiging 1,025. Okay? So, pag nag-move ka dito, move mo lahat yan. Okay, now. So, ako... Ay, iniisip ko na lang, ito ay 1, since 1 to, so 1 peso, bawasan mo ng 25 centavo. ba meron ka pang 75 centavos. Okay? Meron pang 75 centavos. So, ako hindi ko na kinonvert as whole number itong decimal. Pero, ikaw, pwede po. Okay? Nasa inyo po yan. So, ako iniisip ko na lang, um, ito, 1 peso to, ba Kasi 1 ang coefficient niyan. Bawasan ko lang yung piso, bawasan mo ng 25 centavo. Diba, ang matitira ay 75 centavos na lang. And then, why negative? Kasi mas mataas ito. Diba? And then now, so negative 20 plus 10.25. So, dito naman, meron kang 20 pesos. Bawasan mo ng 10 and 25 centavo. Um, anong sagot? 9.75 centavo. So, ito po siya. So, 9.75 centavos. So, why negative? Kasi finalaw natin yung sign nito dahil mas mataas ang absolute value niya. Okay? 
So for us to cancel um, negative 0 0.75, of course, we will divide it by negative 0 0.75. So this will be canceled. Okay, so we only have now x is equal to, i-divide natin ito, ilang 75 centavos meron sa 9.75. Kung may coins ka dyan, pwede mong bilangin or sige, pwede ka mong i-check sa calculator. So that is 13. So meron tayong 13 na 75 centavos sa 9 pesos and 75 centavos. Okay, so anong next na gagawin natin? So, kuha tayo ng uh, equation. So, ito, ito na po gagamitin ko. So, negative x minus y is equal to negative 20 or pwede ka rin pong gumamit dun sa original equation na x plus y is equal to um, 20. Pwede rin po. So, negative x minus y is equal to negative 20. Substitute natin si x that will become negative 13. So, ito dahil may negative and then yung x mo is 13. Kaya negative 13 minus y is equal to negative 20. So, we now have negative y is equal to <coughs> excuse me negative 20 so magiging positive ito plus 13. So, y is equal a uh, negative y is equal to negative 20 plus 13 that is negative 7. So, since negative ito, so the um uh, i-multiply natin siya both sides by negative 1 to make this positive. So, magiging y is equal to 7 na po. Okay. So, check the result. So, we have um, 13, 7 or x is equal to 13 and y is equal to 7. So, this is our solution. So, let us check. Going back to the original equation. So, our original equations are x plus y is equal to 20 and 0 0.25x plus y is equal to 10.25. Okay? So, i-check natin. So, your x is 13 and then your y is 7. So, 13 plus 7, that is 20. So, they are equal and this is check. Okay? Next. So, dito naman, substitute natin si x doon sa ating um, as a 13 dun sa ating x and then si 7 dun sa y. So, 13 times 0.25. So, pag meron kang 13 piraso na, ng 25 centavos, magkano lahat? Okay? So, that is 3.75. Okay. So, therefore, ano, ah, it should be Okay. So, it should be 3.25 okay kasi um, maglabas ka ng 13 piraso ng 25 centavos pag binilang mo yun sa apat na piraso piso so kung 13 pieces yung 12 pieces 3 pesos na yon eh 13 so meron pang butal na 25 centavos so that is 30 uh, 3.25 centavos okay plus 7 so i-add natin to 3 plus 7 that is 10.25 so as you can see they are equal and this is check okay so therefore uh, since it satisfies both equations therefore the solution is correct the 13 7 so alex has 13 pieces of 25 centavos and 7 pieces of 1 peso coin kasi kung um uh, pag tinimes natin to sa 25 centavo and then pag tinimes natin to sa piso, makakabuo siya ng 10.25 pesos. At yun ang nasave ni Alex. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson your Walmart channel.